Out of all of the cameras that Ring sells, these are probably the two most popular ones. We've got the Ring stick-up cam battery, and we've got the Ring spotlight cam battery. Both of these cameras are 1080p, but this one here is double the price. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the features, and we're also gonna be comparing the video and audio quality with these two cameras. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So I have not been the biggest fan of the Ring Stick Up camera. I've tested it out in quite a few different videos. Recently, I did a video on the best 1080p outdoor battery powered camera. If you guys want to check that one out, I'll link it above for you guys to check out. But the audio quality was not good at all with this camera. I actually reached out to Ring and talked to them about it, sent them some sample clips, and they agreed, and they actually sent me out a new one. So this is my first time at testing out the new one, so I'm gonna be curious to see, comparing these two cameras together, um, if the audio is actually going to be any better on this one. It kept breaking up, and it was hard to hear, and all garbled, so this is a brand new one, so if you've seen any of my videos in the past and saw how horrible this camera was, hopefully we'll have a better experience. Now, this is my first time at testing out the Spotlight camera. It's kind of awkward, I can't really stand it up, so we'll just leave it on its side here. But if we take a look at what comes in the box for both of these cameras. The Ring Stick Up Cam has the battery powered camera. We've also got a quick release battery, micro USB charging cable, user manual, security sticker, and screws and wall anchors. Inside the box with the Spotlight camera, we've got obviously the Spotlight camera, we've got a rechargeable quick release battery, We've got mounting brackets, user manual, security sticker, installation tools, and screws. So that's pretty cool. This one does come with some tools inside of it where the Ring Stick Up Cam no longer does. Now taking a look at the hardware of the Ring Stick Up Cam, we've got the camera front and center. We've also got the PIR sensor down below, speakers below that. Uh, up at the very top, we've got a dot for the microphone, and then we've also got IR sensors. If we flip it over to take a look at the back, we've got a couple of rubber seals back here. Popping those off, the top one here is for a power outlet, so you can buy a power outlet for the battery-powered version if you want to change up its power source. And then below that, we have got a quarter 20 mount. So this mount that is on the bottom, there is a screw down there. That screw you can undo and actually move this mount to the back of the camera. To get a look at the mount that is on the bottom, you can actually slide this gray part and it will pop off, allowing you to easily mount it where you need to and then you can slide the camera on to there to mount it up. If we unscrew the bottom, going from lock to unlock, take a look inside, we have got our quick release battery and then we've also got a reset button. If we take a look at our spotlight camera, we've got the lens right here, front and center. We've got a little hole for the microphone. We've also got our IR sensor up there, and then we've got a big speaker down below. It looks almost twice the size of the Ring Stick Up Cam. We've also got a giant motion sensor underneath. Flipping it over to the back, we've got some different mounting options. So pressing on the button down here at the bottom, that is going to open up the camera. Now, if we take a look inside, you can actually put two batteries into this one. You don't have to, it only comes with one battery, but you can put two batteries in here to extend the life of this camera. Now, if we take a look at the bracket on the back, this actually slides out. So I'm gonna push the button on the top here. This is going to slide down and we can actually flip it over and push it back in. And now what we need to do is take out this rubber seal and I'm gonna move it down here to the bottom and cover up that power outlet. So you can put a power cable into this one. Also, if you don't wanna use the battery, I'm gonna go ahead and close it up, and now we have got our mount down here on the bottom instead of facing up on the top. So that's gonna help you with direction on where you want to put this guy right here. Okay, so what are some of the differences between these two cameras? If we take a look at the Ring website, they actually specify the big differences. And it says here that the main difference between these two cameras are device features, placement, and power options. The Spotlight camera is an outdoor-only camera that comes with a built-in LED light and a security siren. So this is gonna have lights and a security siren. As soon as motion is detected, the Spotlight cam starts streaming video and shines its light to show you a clear picture in any setting. 
If you see something suspicious, you can also activate the siren through the app for added protection. So it goes on to say, unlike the spotlight camera, the stick up cam doesn't have a built in light and can go anywhere indoors or outdoors. So because of the stand on the bottom, you can essentially put this thing wherever you want. You can sit it flat like this. You can mount it upside down if you want to. You can move the mount to the back to mount it to the side of a wall if you want to do that. So there are a lot more mounting options with the Ring stick up cam. Now the biggest question I have is that, is the spotlight camera better resolution? And the reason I ask that, because if I put both of these cameras right next to each other, the lens on the spotlight camera looks quite a bit bigger than the ring stick up cam. So for me, I'm just assuming that the camera on the spotlight cam is going to be a bit better, but we're gonna go ahead and test that out in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cameras set up and then I wanna show you some differences in the app. All right, I wanted to quickly show you guys the app and some of the features in here. This has gotta be one of my favorite apps uh, to use with security cameras. It's just so easy. There's just lots of different options. You can do quick launches up here. We've got all the cameras right here. You can uh, tap on a camera to go to live view. So there is the live view right there. Brought it up pretty quick. You can uh, push to talk, you can do recordings, all of that fun stuff right there. And then in the top right corner, you can click on the gear icon. So we'll tap on that and that's gonna bring up the different settings. From here, you can link devices. So the cool thing about linking devices is that if I want, I can link all of my devices and or ring lights together. So it's gonna be everything with ring. So if one device is triggered, it can trigger all the devices to start recording at the same time. It is a pretty cool feature. We've got different options in here for device settings. So video capture, snapshot capture. I really like snapshot capture. Uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second. Let's go over, let's back out of here and go to the spotlight camera. So if I tap on there, you notice now we have got an option for siren because this one does have a siren built in. So we've got an option if we want to trigger the siren here. Up in the top right corner, you see that I've got two battery indications. One is gray because I have an open slot in the camera. The other one is green. If I click on power settings, it's going to show me the battery life of this camera right here. Now, if you look below that, um, it, use, it says using extra power. I did go in and I actually changed some of the settings on these cameras. Um, I can make a separate video, a shorter video, showing you which settings I actually changed to make the camera better although the battery is not gonna last as long. And then uh, the last setting that I wanted to show you on here, go to device settings, and then we've got our lighting settings here. So you can turn the lights off so that way the motion does not trigger them and the lights are only gonna turn on at night. And I wanted to quickly show you, if we go to live view, so the snapshot capture that I was telling you about is that if nothing triggered a recording to happen, uh, it's gonna take a picture every 14 minutes or one hour. I've got this one set up to every 14 minutes. So let's scroll through a blank spot right here. So if you notice every 14 minutes is still taking a picture, almost like a time lapse. So I can still kind of see what's going on in the area during that time for it to take a picture and you do not need a subscription for that feature. So that is pretty cool. Okay, now that we have quickly gone over the app, let's go ahead and take a look at some demo footage of these cameras. We're testing out both of these Ring cameras. I'm about six feet away from these cameras right now, but I'm gonna walk all the way back up to the gate behind me, which is about 35 feet, showing you guys what these look and sound like. All right, so this is what it looks and sounds like from 35 feet away. I'm not sure how well you guys can actually hear me with the helicopter that's coming up right above me right now, but Next, we're gonna take a look at some night shots with these cameras to see how well they perform. All right, cameras are tricky to do, especially at nighttime because there are infrared lights on both cameras. I don't want them to interfere with each other. So we're gonna just do one camera at a time. But this is me about six feet away. I'm gonna back up to 30 feet and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I'm 35 all the way back here. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear me on this camera. This is the new camera that I got for the Ring Stick Up Cam. So this is what it looks like without the colored night vision on just the regular black and white. All right, sticking with the Ring Stick Up Cam, this is now with colored night vision turned on. So I'm gonna back up and show you guys what it looks like.
Okay, now that we have seen what this camera looks like with this color night vision on, let's take a look at what the spotlight camera is capable of. All right, now we are taking a look at the ring spotlight camera. The spotlights are obviously off. This is just what the night vision looks like. I can see four red lights on both sides of this thing. Knowing that the infrared lights are on, I'm six feet away. Let's back up and see what it looks like. All right, now that we know what it looks like with the infrared lights on, let's go ahead and turn these spotlights on. Oh, wow. Check out these lights and how bright they are. Wow, you can see everything. Whoa, back here. Um, this is the spotlight. So this is what they look like. I'm about six feet away. As usual, I'm going to take a step back and let's see uh, what it looks like. Now what I love about these lights right here is that if these turn on, most likely they're going to scare most people away, especially somebody who's not supposed to be around. But what do you guys think about all of these demos? Which one is the best camera? Actually, let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Well, to start off, the Ring Stick-Up Cam is actually much better than the other version that I have. So I'm happy that I got that new version. Audio was much clearer on that one before it would always be breaking up. And I've actually seen other content creators that have reviewed the Ring Stick Up Cam and have had the same problems with that. So apparently it was just a bad camera that I had. Anyway, I was happy with the results of the Stick Up Cam. And I actually thought during the day shots that the Ring Stick Up Cam actually looked better. The colors looked better. The spotlight camera looked more washed out to me. However, the spotlight camera had a bigger field of view, so I was able to see more of the sides of the shot than I could with the stick-up cam. Now, as far as audio between the two of them, at first I really thought that the spotlight cam was better, but when I went back and actually listened to both of the audio side by side, I actually kind of liked the stick-up cam better. If you noticed in the day shot, and you guys can go back and rewind and listen to it, is that I wasn't hearing the helicopter sound that was above me as much as I did with the spotlight camera. So in the spotlight camera, you can definitely hear that there's a helicopter above me, but when it jumps back to the stick-up camera, I didn't really hear a helicopter. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I actually liked that about that camera. And the next step, we're taking a look at night shots. Now granted, the spotlight camera has spotlights built into it. It is designed to have those spotlights turned on and be used. But my initial tests were to have the spotlights off and the colored night vision off on the stick-up camera. And if I'm just looking at black and white on both of the cameras, the ring stick-up camera I thought did better. If you go back and look at the footage, when I walk all the way back 35 feet to the gate, you can see me pretty well in the stick-up cam, where with the spotlight camera, with the spotlights off, which I admit most people probably will not do, it did not do as good from far away. Also turning on colored night vision just seemed to really turn on the yellows in the scene. If you notice that, it went from black and white to still being black and white, except all of the lights were now yellow. So that was kind of weird. I don't really consider that colored night vision. But that spotlight, wow, that was an awesome display of light. 300 lumens is what that thing provides. Lit up my whole yard. I thought it was awesome, but there was kind of a lot of ghosting in there. If you notice, I'm moving my arms around and bugs that are flying through the scene. Uh, there's what's called ghosting. So you can still see like my arm patterns going through and, and me moving around, which I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I haven't seen that with any other camera. So the question comes down, is the spotlight camera worth the price? It's got dual battery slots. It's got a light and it has a siren on it where the Ring Stick-Up camera didn't have any of that stuff. And as far as resolution between the two, I actually thought that the Stick-Up cam was a little bit better at a cheaper price. So that would probably be my recommendation. But the big question, how does Ring compare to other companies out there? I am working on a bigger video. We're gonna be collecting the flagship cameras from all of the big name camera brands out there, and I'm gonna be comparing all of those together. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and wait for that video to come out. If you are looking if you are looking for a spotlight camera, I think there are some better options out there. I really like Eufy brand cameras and Arlo brand cameras. 
I will put links in the description below if you guys wanna check any of those out and see what my recommendations are. But that is all I have for this comparison video today. I'd love to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. I truly do appreciate it. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.